Hamitakia pi tokehji anakopta nan kapicha wophila echichia polo he ephawachi a betu kile lakota stress markings api hena iwoa glocking ta cha hena un spechichia pictolo hello relatives thank you for listening today i'm going to be talking about the diacritical markings called stress marks found in the lakota language written lakota language stress marks are always found over the Lakota vowels. So let's start by identifying the vowels found in the Lakota language. First, we have five oral vowels. A, E, I, O, U. In addition to these five oral vowels, we have three nasal vowels. A, I, U. These are pronounced through the nose, hence why we call them nasal vowels. In total, we have eight vowels found in the Lakota language. A, E, E, O, U, A, I, U. Using the Lakota Language Consortium, or LLC orthography, these vowels and every other letter found in the Lakota alphabet are consistent with reading and writing and listening and speaking. Every sound in the Lakota language is represented by one letter, and each letter is represented by one sound. Lakota stress marks look like these and will always be found over an, a vowel. <clears throat> the stress mark indicates which syllable of a word you're going to stress, emphasize, or accent. So for example, here are a list of first syllable stress words. Mani, Woksape, Shunka, Hihani, Wopila. Zishkopala, Iyanke, Wochekie, Chapa, Gakia, Hecha, Wojapi. Here are a list of second syllable stress words Wachipi, Igmu, Unchi, Maka, Machpia, Yuha, Zintkala, Pilamayae. Wahampi, Magaju, Wakaliapi, Shakomi. Stress is important for a number of reasons. First, let me show you some words that would otherwise be spelled exactly the same but are pronounced different and carry different meanings. Lena means right here. Lena means these. Oha, it means amongst. Oha means yes or okay. Hotanka means to have a loud voice. Hotanka means a sturgeon, a fish. Wopta is to cut patterns into hides and material. Wopta is to dig something up. Now I want to talk about the rhythm of the Lakota language. Every language has its own rhythm and the stress of each word contributes to the rhythm of the sentences. It is said that the bird, the meadowlark, the Tashiagnupa, speaks Lakota. And so we can learn a lot about the Lakota language by listening to the songs of the Tashiagnupa. Let's take a second and listen to a clip of the Tashiagnupa's song. Now let's listen to the rhythm of some sentences spoken by native speakers uh, Charles and Laura Redcloud. Notice the stress marks in the words as he pronounces them in the sentence. Now let's listen to Laura Redcloud. Lakota stress marks will help you to confidently enunciate words that you learned from reading and writing in your speech. When you speak, you will be able to enunciate words correctly and be able to 
produce familiar sounding speech to native speakers. This will help you in your Lakota language journey as speaking with fluent speakers is, is a very valuable resource and the goal of many learners. There are various ways to create the stress mark in your typing. The way that I use when I'm on my computer, my laptop, keyboard provided by LakotaLanguageProject.org. So you can visit LakotaLanguageProject.org slash resources and scroll down to download their keyboard and follow their instructions. After you have the keyboard downloaded, it's as simple as hitting shift six before any vowel that you want to have a stress mark. In addition to Lakota Language Project, the Lakota Language Consortium also has a keyboard for computers to download. And they also have a keyboard app available to iPhone users and I believe Android as well. This app is totally free and highly recommended. This way we can start typing Lakota language via social media using the stress markings and other diacritical markings as well to support and encourage correct enunciation of our language. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow Hoyeya on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. If you need more information or for more Lakota language content, visit www.hoyeya.com.